Okay, so my question is, what if our government, the United States government, or whoever controls it, no, no, what if our government is uh, so corrupt that it's criminal? What if it's so corrupt that it's not savable within the system, you know, you can't elect your way out of it? Okay, this is the point where I think we're at, personally. But I'm not asking people to believe that. I'm just, this is my question. What would you do, What? not even what you would do, what is, what, what could be done <laughs> by a population in that situation where the government is so corrupt that you cannot, you have no political voice, you know, you can't change the system from within. It's just, it's slavery by another name, whatever. So let's just start from that position and say, say that's where we are. You don't even have to agree with that. I'm just looking for solutions here. This is my question. What would be something that that population could do to get themselves out of that predicament. You know, I mean, if this was South America, a general strike strike would work. It's worked down there many times. They're good at organizing. Okay, and this, so this, there's that possibility, general strike. That's another one. Uh, boycott. I don't know, boycott either paying taxes or boycott something popular until you force somebody's hand. I don't know what it would be. Uh, it could be buying only U.S. products. Okay, those are some possibilities. And I'm just going to say we're not, we can't do that. Okay, those are just possibilities. Now, what, what are some actions that you think we could do? Because I don't have, I'm not that creative. I'm kind of creative, but that's my question to you. What could a population do to get out of that situation? Now, here's my thoughts on it. And I'd like to hear yours, but here's my thoughts. We can't do something like a general strike because, A, not enough people even know that there's a problem. There's enough people happy with their existence <laughs> watching, you know, American Idol or whatever they're doing, wrestling or something. Enough people happy who think this is acceptable or just plain don't know that there's a problem. There's just enough people... So that you couldn't convince enough people to go on strike or do some mass movement. Even if it was marching in the street, like there's Occupy movement. I don't, like many people, I don't think Occupy is going to do anything until they're really fighting back. And, but once they do that, then it's martial law and then you can't win. <laughs> So that's kind of a catch-22 there. You would, you would have to swarm the streets, and I just don't see enough involvement there. So not, not enough people know that there's a problem, and that's a real problem. And probably the same with boycotts. Especially like, uh, well, don't shop at Walmart, that kind of thing. It's not going to work, because people are struggling they need to shop at Walmart we're in that situation so that's not really a course of action not a real possibility the only one that I came up with was something like they did in Iceland where they went to the bankers homes and they uh, 
splash them with paint or spray paint them red. I took it to the place where the problem started. They went, went to their actual houses until the media caught on and had to say something. They had to report on it. And then finally, you know, the rest of the people were informed, well, there's something going on, there's a real problem. And then they got involved. And we need something like that. Something where there's no property damage, though, because we can't, it can't be a terrorist, anything that the, the government could call terrorism, like no bombs or anything like that. So once that happens, they call it terrorism, and then all of a sudden, uh, once they call it terrorism, all of a sudden, now they get the rest of the public, the rest of the citizens on their side, because nobody likes terrorists, right? I don't. Not real ones. <laughs> so you don't want to go that far. Either property damage, certainly not certainly not lives either so something similar to that I mean a little paint that's not really that bad but I think over here they would call it property damage <clears throat> and they would probably say that's kind of a terrorist sort of thing so what I would do is instead of paint I would just throw rotten eggs maybe just eggs I don't know I don't think they even have to be rotten. Eventually they'll they will stink. And make their lives unbearable. <laughs> That's what I would do. Until the media caught on, right? And then eventually everybody else got educated to the problem. And somehow, I don't know if I don't know how that even that would work because uh, the entire Congress, as far as I know, is corrupt. It may not, so that may not even work, but that's the only thing I can figure. That's even close, short of, uh, short of revolution in the streets. So what's your idea? As a thought experiment, I'm not trying to convince people that we're really in that situation. I just happen to believe we are. But if you're a creative person and you want to give it some thought, uh, just put it in a comment or do a video response and let me know what would be a good course of action if that were our reality, where the government is completely corrupt. And the media. It's government, media, law enforcement. I mean, it's all one big mess. They're all in it together. <laughs> I don't know. I sound like a nut. But <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> okay, give it a try. Thanks.